Vinci is a living learning community in Lee Hall where a bunch of different science majors get to come and live together so that we don't focus so much on our specific branch of science, but more it's how science coexists as a whole. And we're not taught the technical details of our field, but more the softer skills of uh, how to do science, such as teamwork, communication, and other useful skills such as that. Yeah, we get to use these soft skills that we gain in our freshman year in the second semester here at Tech, where we are given a set of problems that we have to overcome as a team and work through them as we get along through the semester. The needs of our canine friends are shaped quite a bit differently than ours, and their ACL, or anterior cruciate ligaments, need the brace to do a different type of job. Because the knee is angled, the ACL and its counterpart, the CCL, are designed to keep the dog's femur and tibia from sliding and causing damage to the surrounding muscle. When one of the ligaments tears, it's usually time for a brace. The goal is the same, to provide pressure from the bottom and top to keep the knee in place. While surgery is the primary option, the need for braces still exists before and after the procedure. And there are some dogs that simply cannot go through a surgical procedure for a variety of reasons. For example, most breeds of boxers can't be injected with anesthesia and thus cannot undergo surgery. With this goal in mind, the studio team set out to create a cost-effective and practical brace meant for long-term use. We began with research. Photos and visuals were crucial to our understanding. After we had all come together and shared what we had learned, it was time to ask questions. Kervinci partnered with the Virginia Tech Veterinary School, and we were able to speak one-on-one -on -one with several vets and observe how ACL and CCL injuries are detected. Afterwards, we were able to get our hands on actual braces used by the school, which was useful in understanding the engineering behind the deceivingly simple-looking object. Finally, it was time to start designing. Our group divided to accomplish different tasks, such as researching, designing, and creating. For example, we made a life-sized plaster copy of a team member's dog so that we would have a constant anatomical model to test our prototypes on. The first step we took was to understand how our brace would accomplish its goal, to keep the tibia from sliding forward. After talking through several variations of braces, we decided on a hard shell in the front. A taut stretch of elastic in the bottom segment would be placed next to and slightly under the conjunction of the femur and tibia putting pressure in the opposite direction of the strain and pushing the tibia back up. We used Inventor, a 3D design software program, to create the shell of the brace. It was a process of trial and error, and our prototype didn't quite fit the plaster model we had created. Back to the Inventor board. After we had rescaled the size, we realized that the antibacterial foam, a crucial element for our canine's comfort, would not fit. Our team got to work on sanding down the insides of both segments. Now it was a perfect fit. Once we had these pieces, the next step was figuring out how to connect the two. The solution came in the form of a hinge system. An advantage of this system is that it maximizes the range of motion for the dog. After adding the foam and the straps, the brace was done.